Well, last time we saw you, you were doing big things, uh, MVP at the uh, Florida Classic. Yeah. Um, talk about the 2022 FAMU Rattlers and, and what you want to see this year. Uh, this Rattler team is, you know, I, I feel like this Rattler team is better than last year. You know, I know we lost some key pieces. Uh, you could say Marquise Bell, uh, Savion Williams, Keenan. Those were some big guys, but, you know, we got in. We got a lot of transfers. We got a lot of new guys in that I believe can fill those roles just as better, you know, if not, if not better than them. So, you know, this, this, new, this new 2022 Rattler team is, is coming for it all. They're hungry. And I feel like the chemistry on this team is a little bit more better, a little bit more, you know, close-knit than the last year's team. You know, we're real talented. You know, everyone knows that. And I feel like we're more disciplined. And like I said, we're a little bit more, you know, close-knit than the last team. So I feel like this year is going to be, you know, a big one for the family Rattlers. It's a family affair on the highest of seven hills. Your brother's in the house. Your sister's cheering. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about looking over. And, and, and these are your brothers out here. Right, right, but right. when you can look over and see someone from your household, that's a beautiful thing. No, yeah, man, it's a wonderful feeling. Like I said, like like you said, you know, my brother's here, my sister's on the cheerleading team. My parents actually are alumni from, you know, the high seven here. So, you know, it's just wonderful, man. It's wonderful just to have everyone here, you know, and I'm, I'm you know, I'm talking with my parents, you know, you know, chopping it up and they're, you know, experiencing the same thing that I experienced, you know, at my, my time here. So, like I said, it's just a wonderful thing, you know, just to have a house full of rattlers and uh, hopefully, you know, we can, you know, just, you know, live up to the expectation, you know, I'm going to try and be that role model for them, my brother and sister, you know, going to graduate and, uh, you know, live successful lives as Rattler alumni. Another great season, another great record. Uh, you guys uh, have a great schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, at North Carolina, the fans in South Florida get a chance to see you guys and right. Jackson State and, and, of course, through the SWAC, second campaign, and then you look at the Florida Classic. Uh, just talk a little bit about the mentality going in. Uh, the mentality going in, like I said, those, those are some big games you name. You know, we starting off with UNC out in Chapel Hill, follow right up with Jackson State and Miami. So those are all big games, but we treat every game the same here. You know, we try to take each game week by week, day by day. You know, no matter who we're playing, we're going to put the same hours in, same film study. You know, unfortunately, Jackson State is a quick turnaround. I believe, I believe we leave like on a, you know Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, pretty early. But uh, like I said, we're going to put on the same amount of time on the field, on the, on the, on the drawing board, in the film room. You know, we're getting, we're getting ready each game the same way. You know, those are big games, high state games. So we're going to make sure we bring our A game for sure. Now, uh, you have gentlemen moving on to play on Sundays. Uh, he's in Dallas. He's got a star in his helmet. <laughs> I'm looking over. I see the... Uh, I, I see an NFL team here. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's opportunities to make it from HBCU. Talk a little bit about it. No, uh, yeah, there's opportunity to make it from anywhere. You know, HBCU, NAIA, D2, D3. No matter where you come from, if you're a baller, you know, you know. I mean, it's the proof is in the pudding. You know, like I said, like you said, Marquise Bell. You know, he came from small FAMU. Some people in Tallahassee don't even know about FAMU. You know, so and you, it can it can happen from anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm kind of living living testament. I mean, I'm only five seven, you know, 185, 190 pounds, but you know, I'm here playing D1 ball. So if you're a baller and you playing your game and you, you know, what I'm saying you you if you focus, you can make it from anywhere. What do you tell that young person, say maybe back in Okoe or or even uh, Pine Hills or anywhere on earth? who's looking for an opportunity to to get an education, go to college. Uh, maybe they're playing Pop Warner. Maybe they they don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're 8 or 9 or 12 or 13. What do you tell those young people out there that, that want to make it in life? Uh, to make it in life, man, just stay focused. You know, have a plan. Keep the, keep the main goal the main goal. You know, don't forget about, you know what I'm saying, what you want to do in life. I, I would say... You know, think about your why. You know, who you're doing it for. Like personally, my why is my family. You know, I just want to be great, successful in life, whether it is football, going to the league, or whether it's you know going into you know some, the medical field or wherever. You know, just keep the main goal, the main goal. You know, ain't nothing at home for you. Get out, re branch out. You know, try new things. Try to you know try to think that you never even tried before. So I guess keep the main goal, the main goal. Work on it, make a plan, and execute. Oh man, good luck this year. Yes, sir. Thank you. Is there anything you want to tell all the fans, the Rattler Nation, people around the country? Anything you want to tell everybody? Oh man, Rattler Nation, man. You know we coming for it all this year. I know the last few you see we've kind of been like nine and two, nine and three here and there. But each year we're getting closer and closer to that mark. But this is the year for sure. You got my word, BJ Bola. We're signing out. Yes, sir. BJ, one last question. There's a big game at the end of the year. It's in Atlanta. Uh, Celebration Bowl. Mm -hmm. Swack. Miac championship talk a little bit about that and i know it's at the end of the rainbow 
Yeah, man, that's that's the way at the end of the rainbow. That's not even in my sight right now. Like I say, we're taking it week by week, but, you know, who wouldn't want to play in a Mercedes-Benz Superdome? You know, that's just an awesome feeling. You know, unfortunately, I feel like we were one one point short away from being in there. You know, I feel like we would have won the SWAT championship, and, you know, we already beat up on South Carolina State. But, uh, you know, we coming for it all this year. Our offense is on their A game, defense on their A game, iron sharp and iron. We're getting each other better this, better this year. So at the, end, at the end of the tunnel, you know, hopefully we can get there. You know, I believe that we will get there. We'll be taking the game by game. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you.